I seen you recently linked up with Live Sosa for the Cheese and Dope. Yes, sir. Visual. You know, go ahead and let me know what, you know, what led to that. You know, see, Live Sosa, you know, I've been seeing him do a lot of projects around, around Arkansas. He's like one of the hottest cameramen around, you did, know what I'm saying? So, like, the process with me and him, really, everybody just kept telling me, like, you need to do a video with him, you need to do a movie with him. So I just made a song and just like she reached out to him. He was like, Yeah, bro, you hard. I got you. So he just turned me up. Feel me? When you come to the actual song, though, you know, what did you just hear the beat and went from there? Or, like, did you have a, a oh, reason man. to why you made that? Man, it was like, She, I really would like, man. Like the Duke Deuce shit, you feel me? The Duke Deuce movement, when bro got going, bring crunk back and shit, you feel me? Like he had did that song with 3C Mafia shit. And I was just like, damn, I need an old school beat, you feel what I'm saying? Like just try to bring back, you know what I'm saying? Bring back them vibes and shit, you did. Shit. I grew up by 3C Mafia, you feel me? So shit, I just listened to some instrumental one day, I clicked on that bitch. And I just started writing. But shit, I couldn't even write because I couldn't smoke. I was on probation, you feel me? Couldn't even smoke, so that shit was hard. You know what I'm saying? So I had, when you got some liquor, you did. Pulled up, brown, crown royal. She, they thought you know that shit just started coming. Just like that, that's how I created that shit, though. Did that shit about 20 minutes. You said you grew up on 3-6 Mafia. Yeah, man, 3-6 Mafia, T.I., Hot Boys, Cat Money Me Now. No limit, you know what I'm saying? I'm a 90 baby for real. Times done changed since then. What would you say one of the most, you know, obvious changes you done seen? Like in the music? In the music, yeah. Shit, a whole lot of more dancing. You feel me? A whole lot of more goddamn, a whole lot of more followers, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trendsetters, people follow the trends instead of city. You know what I'm saying? Plus the internet just, this shit the new wave for real, for real. Nigga blowing up two days out the internet, no cap. So. What's your honest opinion about, you know, back then, you know, you actually had to put in the leg work. Yeah. And, you know, you really had to <coughs> put the work in, the footwork, versus now. All you got to do is. Just really just get on the net. You feel me? Just sit behind the computer all day. Sit behind your phone. You put in my work doing it then. Networking and putting in footwork like he's been old days, like when Master P used to be out the trunk. You could do that still, but it's like you really ain't got to do that now. You just my fault. You just go to social media, just promote yourself like that. I see you moving around in Arkansas. You yeah. know, are you aware of any artists or any movements that's actually like still got the old, you know, the old school mm -hmm. Master P out the trunk going on? You know, actually putting in the footwork. Yes, yeah, sir. She. Shout out Trap Cab Mad, you feel me? Him and got down Trill up, them boys dropping too heavy, you feel what I'm saying? Them boys really putting in that footwork when it comes to that type of shit. Like, you feel me? I'm fucking with that movement, you dig know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tapped in with a couple artists in Arkansas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, I fuck with the Arkansas, they really, you feel me? Yeah, like, this ain't no gimmick, you know what I'm saying? Nigga really put in the work for this shit, so. Yeah, it's just paying off right now, you know what I'm saying? They getting out what you put in, straight up. And when it comes to, you know, studios and recording here in the in the state, you, you mentioned the other day I had a conversation with you, be all over, you know, from the top to bottom of the state. Yes, sir. You know, when it comes to recording, where do you do most of your recording at? Shit, mostly. Gut TV, Nino Fresco, you feel me? That's my producer. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with that boy the long way, the strong way. You know what I'm saying? I'm really tapped in over there. Shit, that's really where I do most of my recording at when I'm in Arkansas, though. Go to TV, need no fresco, y'all fuck with him. Where you originally from? Oh, I'm from Greenville, Mississippi, big dog. Six six two, you feel me? <laughs> Greenville, yeah, Mississippi. Yeah, How the hell you end up in Arkansas, fool? Man, shit so crazy, bro. Like school, you feel me? But this shit went to school. You know what I'm saying? I realized shit, this shit was the trap. You know. Where where you go? My school called Arkansas Baptist. 
You know what I'm saying? If you a, you a college student, man, don't go there, man. You feel me? Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? I know they say don't do this shit, but don't go there, man. You know what I'm saying? They gonna trap me out of the belt truck. Anybody know me know that. You know what I'm saying? So Damn, they get some zero, you know, review. They trap you, kid. Like, they sell you a drink, you get there, it ain't nothing like a school. All right, so what exactly? You got to give me a rundown. Like, like what like, exactly? It's like this, bro. You feel me? You get the shit. It's just like, if you from a hood, if you from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Shit. It's just like you just came to the hood. The school just on the in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And, like, school ain't even two blocks, you know what I mean? So... They ain't got their own weight room, own <laughs> football field. Like, they ain't have their own facility for real. So, like, shit not no school, bro. Like, I it's heard. In the, it's in the middle of Little Rock. I heard, you know, you, they they giving out, like, fake degrees there. Like, you don't really. See, I don't know nothing about that because, you feel me? Like I said, I'm part of my environment. You feel what I'm saying? And this school really trapped out. So, you know me, I'm a trapper. Like, they keep me out there, bitch. No cap. <laughs> what they say to you? I see you got. Um, <laughs> I see I got too many bags on the campus, man. You got to go. <laughs> campus too hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, really come around campus be too hot, bro. Anybody know me know that. Yeah, you can ask me questions about it. They gonna tell you, bro. For real, I gotta be trapped out. Just go listen to cheese and dope. You'll see. So you know, being from Greenville, Mississippi, mm-hmm. and coming to a whole nother culture. I wouldn't say culture because we all, you know, we from the South country yeah. motherfuckers, but how was it transitioning to Arkansas? Once you figured out college one, you you know, one really yeah. for you, you know, how was it getting adapted to Arkansas streets? Shit. Like, I don't know, like, at first, it went, it went hard, you feel me? But it was, like, different. So, shit, I went used to the laws that y'all got out here. So, I was moving out still in Mississippi. I had to start getting in trouble. I learned, found out shit real fast, you feel me? Calm my ass down. These so, folks ain't gonna play with you out here. Nah, they ain't gonna railroad your ass in Arkansas, bro. No cap. So, I ain't fucked up about this shit no more. I'm, I'm in my bed with the music, you feel me? So, that's it. The music to take it up out these bitch. You dig? You as an artist, how would you explain, you know, how would you how would you say you express yourself? Like, like, like what would you say about you being an artist? Like, what type of artist would you describe yourself as? Uh, Yeah, I'm a goddamn, I'm an energy boost, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm a, whatever mood you want, you know what I'm saying? Whatever mood you trying to be in, I can do that for you. I can put you in that mood. I just, like, I'm, a, I'm like an artist. I'm an artist for real, so I paint. You feel what I'm saying? Shit real easy, man. I just get in my zone, just do what I do. You feel me? I'm lit. No cap. So when you, when you actually want me... Walk me through like your recording process from the time you hear a beat, from the time you step onto the mic in yeah. front of the mic, you know. See, like if I hear a beat, like when I first hear a beat, like in the first ten seconds, I already be knowing, like, yeah, I can fuck with this or I can't really, I don't really like this beat. Change it, motherfucker, you feel me? But like, if I like that beat, you feel what I'm saying? Like first ten seconds, I know I like it, so instantly, boom, like my mind just be doing it with the words, you feel what I'm saying? So I be. Just coming up with this shit, just be coming out, bro. So do you write? Like, not really. Like, freestyle in my in my notepad type shit. You know what I'm saying? I go in the booth, say this shit in my head, and tell the engineer to record. And then I stop punching, keep going, do that shit, repeat. You feel me? That's how I make my music. 